Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing Double Double, which is today's daily challenge from Loonstar Defense 5, and we are going to start off with a 2 and 3 uh, boomerang monkey. Um, uh, I believe one, yeah, it's a 1 and 0 uh, banana farm, and then we are just going for 2 and 3 uh, dark monkeys. You will be able to afford one of them entirely, and one of them by the end of the round 32. And as you can see, it is um, it is relatively easy to pick up those first uh, waves. Make sure you place the boomerang monkey all the way in the bottom right of that little circle. Because this guy is what it's all about. The second boomerang monkey, that's the one you need to worry about. Um, we're going to do it, uh, well, two and two for now. And you will lose some, um, some camo balloons there. There's nothing you can do about it because you only have two camo detecting towers. You already have the dark monkeys in there and you cannot afford the other one because it is the boomerang monkey so um we're going to go for uh, a two and one uh, glue monkey set to strong of course and as you can see it will pick up all of these balloons uh, that was wave 40 and it is all about wave 42 in this playthrough but you will see that in a moment once wave 41 ends we're going to sell both of the banana farms and um no, no, yeah, there we go. And upgrade to uh, have this guy because the camo balloons in this round can otherwise not be picked off and you will die. So um, anyhow, we are going to uh, rebuild uh, the banana farms in a moment, but first we need to prepare for wave 46. And to do that, we are going to get the uh, final upgrade on that boomerang monkey. So it's two and four now. Um, keep in mind that you could have gone for a zero two banana, uh, sorry, two and zero banana farm straight off, and then upgrade the, uh, uh, the, the the boomerang monkey, which would have been better economically. But I didn't know because this was the first time I actually tried this. And yeah, so you know, if you go for the exact same build, you can build the two and zero banana farm straight up, and then go for uh, the a final upgrade on that uh, on that whatever monkey that uh, boomerang monkey uh, later and you will have it available for wave 46 anyhow we're adding on two three and zero uh, uh, tech shooters and we're going to get the other yeah this guy uh, into a four two as well so yeah two four and twos now and as you can see we only have 20 lives remaining because I lost quite a few lives in one of the previous uh, rounds and we are going to just try to clean up here. The glue monkey in the end is just there to, uh, well, to try to get as many of the remaining balloons as possible. 15 lives remaining now. Uh, the, <coughs> the cleanup crew in the back was just necessary because I didn't hit everyone with that uh, glue gunner. And I kind of missed the fact that I should have upgraded it to two and three, which I'm doing now. So it's now two and three which means that it will pick up every single balloon and since the moabs die pretty much instantly he will pick up those balloons as well so it is a very important thing to have and we will still not be out of the woods here i am getting quite a bit of money and i'm rebuilding this guy over here it doesn't matter on which side it is as long as you uh, upgrade it to its fullest potential and it will pick up quite a bit of um, well of everything and now we are going to um, kind of try to, well, make our towers a little bit more efficient. Yeah, I accidentally sold that one. That was not intended at all. Uh, I wanted the Super Monkey Club because, well, that's the only way to get this guy down. Uh, you need as much damage as you can. And um, yeah, basically that's, that's the way to do it. So now with the Super Monkey Club available to me, it should be no problem anymore. Wave 63 then, that should also be no problem because I have the glue monkey set to 2 and 3 and I have all kinds of AOE for the rest. So I am uh, slowing down every time the big waves come and here once again the super monkey club is used but it is a very easy wave. So all in all a relatively easy playthrough, definitely not as hard as I thought it would be. And we are going to continue on just to see if we can defeat 65 which I'm pretty sure I cannot. But uh, yeah, the Moabs go down pretty quickly, but the glue is just not good enough to pick off the remaining balloons. 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Oh, for an easier playthrough, of course, you can use a building. I would recommend the, uh, the boomerang monkey. But uh, yeah, because the boomerang monkey is mainly the most important one. But you don't have to. You can also go for the glue monkey, which is pretty good. <coughs> you might actually uh, be able to yeah, well, do more with it then. I don't know, but you can use one of the... Uh, well, one of the, 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 the buildings basically to get an easier playthrough. Make sure that you pick the right one though, because I don't know, well, on, off the top of my head, which one uh, makes which other tower cost more. And you, you do want to have that early game set up the same as I had or better. But uh, anyway, you'll figure it out. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG.